Uh, hello all. So it's time for deep learning with Keras and TensorFlow. And both these library are very popular in both research world and industry world. So uh, if you are using Keras for a time, you'd know that Keras a two backend and Cefalenciano, but with a new release of Keras two, uh, like Keras uh, TensorFlow is its uh, core library. So first uh, we'll see uh, we'll install TensorFlow on our Windows system. So if you would have installed previously, you know that it was there in Linux and Mac, but for Windows you have to install in Docker or virtual machine. But with a new release, you can install directly here a TensorFlow on Windows, but you need Python 3.5 and Windows 64 bit. So if you go to uh, their documentation, you can see that you can uh, install TensorFlow with native pip uh, if you, you install python 3.5 then using pip 3 you can install tensorflow both the cpu and gpu version and if you are trying to do it through anaconda obviously you can create a new environment and you can install there so uh, as it says you need python 3.5 and if you have anaconda 3 then by default you get a python 3.5 or more but if you are having anaconda 2 like i am having then you need to install a uh, Python 3.5 version. So let me first, as the two steps says, first we create a virtual environment with Python 3.5, and then we install the TensorFlow CPU version for this video. Maybe the GPU version will do in the next video. So let's create a new environment. But uh, before that, you can see what are the environments available in your Anaconda environment. So you can uh, info minus e. And you can see there's just a root uh, one environment. So let's create a Python 3.5 environment with on the gate and let me name it Python 3.5 TensorFlow and CPU version for this Anaconda. Okay, so it will take some time to create a new anaconda environment uh, actually i did a mistake here so let me stop it and uh, yeah because i did not give the python version so on the create let me give a python version which i want to install Sorry, sorry, suppose three point five point two maybe. Now on the yeah, so now it will install a new environment named Py three five and ask you have to give a yes and it will take some time to install it. So maybe I'll pause the video and once it gets installed, I'll get back to you. So uh, now the new Anaconda environment is created for me and it says to activate, you have to write activate environment name. So you can check it for yourself by typing conda info minus e and see, yeah, so previously you saw there was root environment. Now we have Python 3.5 TF CPU environment and now star source that the root is active so let's activate our new environment so we activate by uh, 35 df cpu yeah so now we are in this environment and in this environment we can install tensorflow by using this command so since we're installing the cpu version so we'll copy this command from yeah, so let's copy it and let's paste it here. Let's run it. So it will install TensorFlow first. We'll wait for a while. Hmm, so it takes some time. Yeah, 
so it's done now in order to check whether your tensorflow is installed you can just enter a python console and import tensorflow as df let's see yeah tada so we are done with tensorflow installation very simple right so let me exit my python now let's install keras so keras is a pretty simple just pip install keras so let's do it so in keras 2 actually there are a few changes with the name of functions we will see uh, so you can see it's installing keras 2.0.2 and in order to check it again we enter python and import keras so you see the default backend is tensorflow and you can see no error so it means keras is installed and if keras is installed we should have a dot keras file in our home directory so let me open my anaconda directory and let's confirm it so it's for me in yd it's in anaconda to, um, sorry it should be in your home directory yeah it's here it's in dot keras and keras.json if i open it so uh, you can see it here it's now actually before that was image dimension ordering and it was either tiano th or tensorflow tf but with keras 2 they have made it channel last and backend is tensorflow so congratulations you have installed keras with tensorflow on windows so that's it for this video uh, enjoy <laughs>